Hello and welcome back. In my last video, I discussed high yield concepts in pharmacology. In this video, I will be going over um, biochemistry, pathology, and micro and immunology. So, starting with biochemistry, if high yield concept in biochemistry is the metabolic mass. Know the glycolysis, know the enzymes that's associated with it, know the steps of the Krebs cycle. Next, pathology. For pathology, bone tumor is a really popular subject. Know all of the bone tumors possible and know how they manifest. How do they manifest? How they are classically being described? So you are able to tell from that description what bone tumor is the patient having. The other uh, famous, I thought, uh, subject in pathology was the glycogen storage diseases like Pompe disease, um, as well as um, Kuhlman disease, know the name of the disease and what is the enzyme that's deficient. Know those was Pompe disease is really popular. There are some diseases that is associated with harm defect. Know what those diseases are. Um, know Paget disease. You will, you will have a question along with outbound Paget disease. It is a bone disease. Um, know how it manifests, how it starts. Um, those stuff like that. Moving on to immunology and micron. Make sure you know your gut bacteria, staph and strep. Know everything about those bacteria. Those two bacteria in its own is high yield. Everything around them is high yield. Know them front to back, back to front. Um, I would say the other ones that are really popular is TB. TB is very popular, um, military TB. Sure, you know the testing that is done when patient is suspected to have TB, what are the results versus patient who had, um, who had uh, vaccine of TB, how that results, how that test uh, result would come back, and the classic way of describing the x-ray of a patient that has an active TB, versus a TB that is being um, controlled. Immunology. From immunology, make sure you know the MHC1 and 2 and which cells do they go with. Um, two, I would say no hypersensitivity, one from four, and which syndromes are they associated with. This is also a really high concept. Next in immunology is cells deficiency and the infections that usually we see associated with such deficiency. For example, when a patient is T-cell deficient or the T-cell are not functioning, usually we see f uh, fungal issues, we see viruses. Those are usually this, the things that you see in the question system. If the patient comes to the clinic with repeated bacteria infections, you can usually think that, oh, it is a, a B-cell deficiency issue. Lastly, in immunology, please make sure that you know the transplant and the rejection. So is it um, acute rejection, hyperacute versus a chronic, or it's like a graft versus host disease? Those are the topics that I thought were high yield concepts that I focused on when I was preparing for the exam. Thank you for watching. Please make sure you subscribe and hit the like button. If you guys have suggestions, feel free to reach out to me on my email or on my IG um, account. You guys have a good day and see you later. Bye now.